Well, the old uh, adage goes, April showers bring May flowers. How about some March showers? We had some rain on Saturday, and we have multiple chances of rain this coming week. Let's break down some of the stats so far this year. 11.27 inches of rain, or the liquid equivalent of anything frozen for the Hartford area, leading to a surplus of about 4.5 inches. We received over an inch for the Hartford area from the rain on Saturday. And then, of course, we followed it up yesterday with record warmth, both for the Hartford area and Bridgeport. 60s statewide yesterday. We had plenty of sun. It developed early in the morning, really helping to bump those temperatures up. And even today, we're mild across the Northeast 57 in Hartford. But take a look to our west right now. It's 65 in Syracuse, 63 in Scranton, 70 in Cleveland. And while New England is not quite that mild, it is certainly still unseasonably warm, given our average high temperature today is 43 degrees. Here's a live look at our ICAM in Torrington. Lots of uh, cloud cover out there. A few breaks in the clouds on our ICAM here in New London, where it's 51 degrees. Those easterly winds coming off of the uh, Atlantic helping to keep that low level moisture locked in and also uh, helping to transport eventually, relatively speaking, some cooler air our way as the rain develops tonight into tomorrow. Jim sent this, Jim Meehan sent this picture in of some low clouds in Kent hanging out over the tops of the mountains. And that just shows how low in the atmosphere uh, some of that moisture was earlier today. Temperatures keep on climbing. We're in the upper 50s inland, low and mid 50s along the shoreline. And throughout the afternoon, we'll see the clouds thicken back up. Here's 11 o'clock tonight. First Lord Future Cash showing overcast conditions with rain developing tomorrow morning during the morning commute. But it gets heavier as we approach lunchtime tomorrow. A period of steadier and heavier rain uh, tapering off more to showers uh, in the later afternoon and evening hours before drying out late tomorrow evening. Rainfall amounts tomorrow really don't look that impressive. We're certainly more focused on the end of the week. Our hour by hour planner overnight, though, showing temperatures well above average. No concerns for anything frozen. Given the rain and the easterly winds tomorrow, temperatures will top out in the 40s. Still above average for this time of year, just not as warm as we have been. By Wednesday, we're tracking yet another round of rain. The European and uh, the American model here showing some slightly different solutions on where the heaviest rain sets up, but the timing is in better alignment. We expect rain to develop beginning later Wednesday, lasting into Thursday. Rainfall amounts could certainly be on the higher end of the spectrum, especially where we see these reds and these yellows. That will likely shift in the coming days, so make sure you have the WFSB uh, app downloaded to get updates on that as we get a bit closer. So rainy tomorrow, rain late Wednesday, Thursday a rainy start, becoming a bit blustery as the day goes on. Temperatures likely falling, and look at this. We'll be near record warmth again on Wednesday, especially inland. We're forecasting temps near 60, 54 along the shoreline. By Friday, we're breezy with temps in the 50s, and then we're tracking yet another system Saturday into Sunday. We do spring forward Sunday, too. Just want to mention quickly that we're already in the excessive rainfall outlook, outlook level one uh, Wednesday into Thursday. So this is your first alert to what could be a more substantial round of rain in the middle of the week.